Hi, Sean Kavanagh here with an Aussie Target training video. In today's video we're going to talk about 3D elevation data and how to get it in 2022. Some of you may have noticed that when you try to download 3 second data through Aussie Explorer, you will get one of two things happen. You'll either get an error like this, incomplete zip file, and you'll need to abort and cancel out of it, or it will appear to do it, but then you'll have problems with Aussie Explorer crashing during startup or shutdown. We need to go into Aussie Explorer, Elevation Data, Globe, and you'll see a couple of things. So if you see a height file like this, like .hgt that's got zero kilobytes, that is a corrupted file and will not be working. The other problem that you'll see is the zip file that it tried downloading before. If you try to expand that zip file, it says that it's invalid. So there's a problem with how it's downloading data. So basically let's clear all of that out of there and get ready to start again. The first thing I find is easiest to do is to put a waypoint in the area where I want to generate or get my height data for. Zoom out so that I can identify where on the continent I actually am. So in this case we're in Northern Western Australia, home for the next Women's World Championships in 2023. So there are links to these websites in the description below, but basically view finderpanoramas.org will give you access to three second data same as we had before without having to log into anything we click on the three second data we get a, a world map unfortunately you can't zoom in or do anything useful with this map so you just got to take a guess but basically you pick the bunch of tiles that you want to download so we're looking for this corner of australia click on it it'll download it you end up with this selection of height files and as you can see they range from 800 kilobytes up to about a meg so we'll copy those jump over to our globe data elevation globe and we paste those in there now when we go back to our aussie explorer map you still won't have that elevation data showing up so we need to go to elevation elevation configuration dem file path so we come down here check that the file location is correct make sure it's activated hit save it'll scan the files and now you'll see that we've got elevation data available if we go to the elevation display tool we can expand that and will show us that we're looking at three second data height file that we're actually looking at for that area now if we want to get higher resolution data so this is three second arc data is about every 90 meters and to be honest it's good enough for, for most things that we're using it for but if you do want to go for high resolution data and this website here also linked in the information below you do need a sign into NASA Earth data so if you go into there you can register for a profile fill it all out once you've got that all done when you go to zoom in on your data you'll find that the grid squares are a bit smaller but you can actually zoom in on this map which is nice you can see our names we can see our town of northern select that square download dem you'll get a bunch of security messages with this we want to keep it keep anyway open the file now this data you'll want to save in a slightly separate file so if we copy that go back to our globe data Let's make a new folder. Let's call it one sec. Paste that in there. And then we go back to our Aussie Explorer map. And you'll see that we're still on three second data. Zoom in on Northern a little bit there. If we go back into here, configuration, all we need to do is hit save. It'll rescan it. And you can see that now where the one second data is available, our resolution here is going to show up as one second. So we're now using a high resolution data. So that's it folks, that's how you get your elevation data. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the air somewhere soon. Bye.